Hello, my beautiful Virgo Five Tribers. Welcome to your September 16th through 30th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as we move into this energy. I'd like to point out that this is a collective reading. That means it's for all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. If you'd like to have a reading of your very own, please celebrate with me as we move into this beautiful celebration energy of my birthday, I'm sending you a savings. So if you'll visit my website, royalmystic.com, put in the code, follow the instructions. I'll be looking forward to seeing you once you schedule your appointment. So in the interest of moving forward into the reading and not delaying, here we go. Let's see what the cards have to say. We have a new beginning, the full, beautiful energy of releasing the old, starting a new adventure, smooth transition without missing any steps right into the energy of brand new excitement. Yay team. Closing the door to the past, nothing is lingering or holding on, and you get a free movement into the future without any hiccups. This is the timing. Three days, three weeks, three months. Third time is the charm. Absolutely fabulous energy. As we move into releasing that old stuff, we get to start with a new heart. These three swords are the timing that allow those to be released. And when it's exactly the right time, you may do exactly that. Move right into that energy with an open heart. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. And the beautiful energy of the strength card accompanies that movement forward. This is Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the lion of God. This is the energy of being protected, having the energy of loyalty. As you walk the path, you are being absolutely guided without fail by this beautiful angelic energy. This three of swords is giving you sort of a timing, but it's not held fast to that. So don't try to pinpoint it. Just let yourself move with the flow. You have the ability to focus on the goal you choose with this beautiful assistance. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all beautiful Virgo, sun, moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. As we begin in victory, this is the chariot, Cancer Major Arcana. This chariot indicates huge success that's coming with this, an upgrade energy, everything improving in every single way. This is absolutely fabulous as she is in her chariot on wheels, moving very quickly over all obstacles. So that is the Hollywood card. It's, it's being seen, it's like, you know, being a rock star at what you do or having very much notoriety at being an expert at it. Hello, Ace of Wands, a gift from Divine. Now, the Ace of Wands means something has ignited. It's a very beautiful energy of something new in passion or in the passion what you do for a living, right? Because wands do mean work. This can be a new relationship, a new job, or a whole new project. Beautiful energy. Something's taking 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 root and, and being able to actually come, come full circle here. Now, it's the upgrade energy you're looking for. Now you've got the Queen of Swords, which is the air sign queen, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini major arcana. But as you stand in this energy, my Virgos, this is the energy of connecting to source, being able to actually articulate what you are trying to do uh, with very strong energy of being an expert at it, right? That Queen of Swords is acing it if you have a job interview or if you have to do a presentation it's literally being able to really have some charisma and allow yourself to move in that energy it's success and there is that three of swords so this is all culminating some people may be looking for a job or you may be having a big project launch or even your own business very solid energy for that with the timing absolutely showing up 
Now, <laughs> we can get in our heads a little too much when we've got a lot riding on this. So this is the, the nine of swords energy where we wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, right? Oh my gosh, what have I done? What have I put myself up for? I don't know if I can do this. And everything that you can think of will start, th you know, throwing a monkey wrench. Just remember, these are only thoughts and change makes them exacerbated into uh, the fear. Just remember it's showing up because you're about to have a breakthrough. Don't stop. Keep going forward. This is not real. These are only thoughts and nothing's holding those swords. You have to be able to push past that fear in order to get your victory. And here comes the seven of cups. That should help you move past the, the fear stage. However, when it all happens very quickly, fear is amplified. So this is the dump truck load of blessings, which means it's all going to show up simultaneously. All you have to do is remember to take one bite at a time. Okay, so I got I got chastised uh, for, for, you know, making it all about steak before. So let's talk about French fries. If you get a whole pack of French fries, are you going to shove them all at your mouth at once? No, you're not. You're going to eat one fry at a time, maybe three at a time if they're skinny. But just remember, one bite at a time is all you can manage. Don't try to overdo it. There's no race for you to finish whatever this change is happening. You just have to take it in stride and move in a progressive way, one step at a time. And we have the two of swords. This is letting go of the need to make it make sense or to know every single thing about it. This is logic trying to work and you see those swords are crossed, which means logic isn't part of this. You've got to stay in your energy of open attraction and letting the universe assist you in the best way possible. So you don't have to control this and you don't have to micromanage the universe. Miracles come in without logic all the time. And we have the Capricorn Devil card. This is in career and finance. Now, this can mean a couple of different things. It doesn't have to be negative. Oh, nice hiccup. Thank you. Confirmation from the universe. Um, the energy of this is something that may be even alluring or, or um, even what would you call it, um, a temptation. Now, if you have a coworker or a boss that's super negative, you can, you can probably put that card right on them because the devil is about something that's trying, if it's in the negative, it's trying to manipulate. So don't let yourself fall for that. But it is the Capricorn Major Arcana, which doesn't make a hill of beans. Uh, it just means it's a Capricorn, right? So career and finance. So it looks like Capricorn's moving into that energy. So you may have someone you know who's a Capricorn that's coming to work. It's somewhere near where you are as well, or they already have started. Now, we've got the Six of Wands, which is the energy of victory coming through the battle victorious, head and shoulders above the rest. Some of you may be making job changes where you're getting away from the toxic person and you're now in a place of success. Yes, and it's saying that's very possible. You have the energy of what's in the past that you've learned and is anchored and secured. You don't have to babysit it anymore. And you can take that energy and move forward with it very easily with that three of wands. Now we have... The seven of wands in the near future saying, stand your ground. Don't settle for less than you deserve and keep things in a place where you don't have to take on everyone else's self-doubt, right? Stick to your guns. You know what you're trying to do here. Just keep going. Don't let anybody interfere with that. And be sure you allow yourself to get the rest that you need and deserve. The four of swords is that energy of being very much in a place where all things are very strong as far as letting yourself recover, recuperate, give yourself that energy of self-care, eat good food, get enough sleep. Sleep is so important. And financial security, money in the bank for a pinnacle is always happy to see this. So very solid in the near future as well as moving in the energy of the new. Oh, hello. This ought to make you happy. Happy, happy. This is the happiest card in tarot, the sun card. All things coming into alignment where you can move forward without fear, knowing that you are in the flow 
everything that you're trying to aim for is secure in that energy. The only way to fail at this card is if you don't try, if you don't go for whatever the new opportunity is. So this does mean opportunity of align alignment of a lifetime. The universe is conspiring in your favor with that sun card. And it really is the happiest card in tarot. I'm, that wasn't a joke. Now we've got another beautiful energy, the three of rods, as we begin. The Three of Rods is all about allowing yourself to take the knowledge that you have, secure it, using that, stepping forward into the new and making something all brand new of it as you go forward into this. It's a beautiful energy of expansion and new action. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here. To allow all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have the Energy of the World card, which is. Let me just say, this is the perfect one to show up for you because this is the four energies. The Aquarius is the air sign. Scorpio is the water. Taurus is the earth. And Leo is the fire sign. That's the four elements opening up a vortex. This is a laurel wreath. This is a representation of victory. And the one stepping through that, that open energy is the Virgo. That's the Virgo energy. That's the depiction of it. So she's dancing through the doorway of success with that beautiful chariot. That's a double affirmation that it is victory. This is absolute victory. So I'm super excited for you. And hello, Archangel Michael coming in. So this is the energy of justice. It's the energy of being very articulate in your, your knowledge. He is protecting Archangel Michael as a protection and clears obstacles. But as someone who does something for a living uh, in this energy, this would be what you do for a living. So someone who may work for the, the justice for all, right? All of that civil service energy and the energy of being a lawyer, a doctor, a judge, anybody who has uh, been in law enforcement or um, anybody who has been uh, part of uh, armed services. And it can be someone who is very pragmatic, like, um, scientist, an engineer, and even an architect, but it's lining up the masculine feminine here with that queen of swords with the emperor, which is the Aries major arcana, but it's the fully formed universe, something absolutely fully formed and stable. So we love that energy of the emperor in the, in the now, it means everything has developed to full form. And that three of swords that kept showing up is now showing you this is the end of the cycle of worry, fear, being in a place of being um, having an onslaught of negativity. This is the release of the target off your back. And there's the timing. So very beautiful. And another 10 that's also very beautiful. Here comes the 10 of pentacles. So abundance, abundance, abundance. We love that energy as it it stifles that nine of swords energy. The 10 of pentacles is the abundance of a lifetime coming in and being very much in a place of flow. There's the don't settle for less than you deserve with the seven of rods. Beautiful energy allowing you to move forward in this blessed thing as you now don't have to settle. You don't have to listen to anybody else. You now in a place of very stable energy. And the five of rods is letting you realize that just because you're trying to understand a way something's going to happen, there may be a little competition if you're moving forward in a job or somebody challenging your position on something doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means you have to stand and endure that and you'll come through it just fine. You've not by yourself on that. So that's telling you don't try to make it logical. It's all going to work itself out. Don't worry. And 
we have the nine of pentacles. And when I get this card, I have to do the affirmation. It's important because it means something. I have used it and I will never not say it. So here we go. Thank you, universe. I know that you are continuously conspiring in my favor. I know that you bring me exactly what I need, exactly when I need it, every single time. I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. That's going to trump any fear you may have. And it's the energy of, of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, that's the energy coming in with this new beginning here. So there's the fool stepping into the doorway of the new, closing the door to the past, a brand new fresh beginning as you are in a place of victory. And we have the high priestess. Letting yourself follow your instincts. Go with the flow of the universe. You're in the zone. Don't try to control it. You have to be able to surrender your resistance and let the universe take you on the journey as it may. If you're going to get on a ship here, you see how there's a ship in the background? You have to be able to let the captain do the driving. We don't, we don't, we're not captains, right? Just like on a plane. We're not pilots. We have to, we're under the control of someone who knows what they're doing. So allow yourself to do that. The universe absolutely knows what it's doing. You can trust the universe. Now we have near future. And we'll begin with this queen of rods. Very beautiful energy of the fire sign queen. This represents fire sign um, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. It's also the energy of being a boss and fertility and new beginnings as you take this action of holding your ground. Now you're in a place where you actually can hold it because you're, you're in the place of power. New fertility, new beginnings. And even when we get to feeling kind of poor and feeling feeling a little sorry for ourselves or might even have a little, you know, you might get a little cold or, you know, little small stuff, nothing major. There is the energy of something already having been answered. See how they're feeling. They're feeling puny. They're looking a little sad there, right? Like, like they're for, they're forlorn. So just know that there's all this energy moving around you, all of these beautiful little particles from the quantum. And just because you can't see them doesn't mean they don't exist. So don't get down in the mouth about it. Let yourself stand in the energy of knowing that any minute, when any minute, <laughs> we are having this abundance show up, but it has to be able to take its time to, to bring itself in the way it should, or it won't be formed properly. And there's your now, you know, you're in the energy of it. It has formed, you are in your full capacity in your creative queen's energy where she is holding that beautiful coin, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn energies go with this beautiful earth sign queen, but it's talking about this financial abundance, which is absolutely there. So the money in the bank, solid grounded energy financially. And last but not least, Carpe Diem. So this is saying, don't delay when the sun shows up, seize the day. See how the sun is rising right there behind his left shoulder and he's got the world in his right hand. Find the way forward that you can believe in. Don't let anyone talk you into using their way unless it aligns with yours. That way you're not second guessing yourself the whole way. You can do this. Both of these beautiful opportunities end up virtually in the exact same space. So it's not about where they go. It's about you being comfortable with taking that journey in that way. So I love you guys. Don't forget, we have the weeklies. We have the daily mystic. And if you want to be a member of the Vibe Tribe and have the daily uh, members only readings, click that join button below and you can it'll tell you the details. And don't forget to use your coupon. It is my birthday after all. Come and see me. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Namaste, my friends.